Hey everybody, welcome back to Ori and the Will of the Wisp. We're uh, right where we left off again, as usual. Trying to trying to help this tree out, the Will of the Wisp. Uh, what's the name of this tree? The Spirit Will. Yeah, it's got some decay on it. We are trying to kill these corrupted hearts to free the tree. And then uh, yeah, we're trying to get these spirit spirit lights as well. So that's what we're doing. I think what we're going to do is head down this way, uh, get this ore, and then get out of here and go back to the haven and finish uh, finish this quest here. For rebuilding the waves, excuse me. Uh, what's going to be the best way to do that, though? If you've never watched me play this game before, you're going to see that I wind up hitting tab quite a bit. Or, uh... It's actually not tab, it's the map button. Map button, excuse me. But, uh... If you're used to playing PC games, tab is the universal button for map. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, as far as I know. Could be wrong about that. But I just call, uh, map and tabbing. Tab it out. Well, tab it out's a different thing, too. I don't know. <laughs> there's better ways to describe uh, what you're doing. Tab. I was going to say, there's supposed to be a corrupted heart here, but I don't see anything. We got a uh, boss battle going. Mini boss. Just kill some rocks, I guess. I kind of like this, but I don't think this guy's any match for us at this point. Looks like the rocks are just shield. I mean, we got so much HP that this guy can't even can't even mess around. Right? I mean, saying that, uh, I think we want to. We got way too much HP for this guy. I think we want to reflect these back on him. That's probably going to do the most damage. Yeah. Ah, uh, they kind of missed that one there. Yeah, just, just eating damage to the face. It's alright. One more round of that. He might have had us, but that wasn't too bad. Not too bad, that one. The Spirit Willow. I really want Koo to show up at the end. I don't know why. But I feel like Koo's taking a back seat for a long time. Uh, now we just want to get out of here, I guess. Yeah. Now it's time we go down. I feel like all that stuff right there, that pink stuff, will one shot us? No. I was wrong. Don't want to go in that hole. We do, actually. Well, we missed it. Uh, okay. If that was correct. We want to go. This one too, as well. Should be a hole right here. According to that map, there was a hole. You guys see it, right? Now uh, maybe, maybe that opens up when we get down. It's a way to get back out. Uh, I mean, I don't know how we dodge all that, but kind of feels like a health check at that point. Kind of painful. That open up? Yeah. We'll open that up as well. Let's uh, get this corrupted heart and then get this ore. I'm really excited about finishing the ore. I don't know what. I don't. Technically, I don't think it's really going to give us anything by doing it. 
still excited to do it anyway. Thankfully we have a ton of HP. This would be difficult if we hadn't spent a lot of time picking up HP upgrades. So we'll heal one more time. And energy cell upgrades so we can spam heal. I mean, I see the mechanic, I'm just not doing a great job of dodging it. Where are we at? Uh, okay. Where are we supposed to go? What's this next? Okay. One, two, man. Okay. Oh, we got a uh, draft going on. Yep. Oh my goodness! Kind of got stuck in it, taking tons of damage there. Oh come on, game! Give me a break. We want to stay towards the bottom because we want to. There we go. That's what we want to do. Last piece of ore. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. I think we got two more to go. But in saying that, now is when we want to go back to the haven. Because. If we come back here, that's not bad. It's just going right back up. Uh, and then we just go up here, and there's one more left, I guess. Wait, we missed this one here. I mean, I guess we can always get that when we come back and go up here real quick, and then go up. That seems fine to me. Uh, so we, we want to teleport back to the Whispering Glades. We still haven't figured out the wellspring yet. Um, that one last spirit like container that's in there. I'm a little bummed out about it, too, if I'm being honest. Maybe this will help? The forest is alive with news that the light is whole again. It mourns my heart knowing the runes of my home fulfilled their purpose. No ghost spirit, too long as the willow waited for the light's return. Uh, we do want to contribute to a project, though. Road touch. Fantastic. I'll get right on that. What's going on here? What are we doing? I'm not even sure what that was. What? Uh, <laughs> much nicer. Funny how a bit of decoration here and there can make everything feel better, huh? Believe it or not, all of the dreams I had for these glades are now reality. Thank you. After seeing the sands destroy my work back home, I wasn't sure I still had it in me. But I kept my promissory. Together we build a haven for all. Side quest complete. That should be... That is not 100%. Mote. Uh, I'm not sure how that isn't 100%, but... Let's go talk to... The Smokey here. This is the Brave, right? Yeah, Moki the Brave. You did not forget me, did you? None can forget how my epic battle with the ferocious howl. Please spread the word, it's good for morale. So what did what did he build by what did we build? Did you just fix the bridge? Was the bridge broken and you fixed it? I don't think that's what he did. I don't I have no idea what he did. Cannot wait to go out and explore more, and maybe I'll stay here and tell other Moki about my exploring. Yeah, that is a much better idea. I'm not sure he did anything. We gave him all that ore, and he was like, yep. Get right on that. Well, all done. Uh, no, I guess he did build this up here. Was this not built? Maybe it wasn't. I feel like we could go out this way before. Yeah, we 
they've been up here. Okay. Well. 99%, huh? Oh, maybe it's uh, buying all the abilities? That was the other thing I forgot about. That's what we wanted to do. I think I mentioned last episode we had two things we wanted to do. Uh, one was the Gorlick War, and the other one was... Uh, I just want to look and see what he said he would build here. I just need me uh, look at it. Anymore. Was to buy the rest of our abilities. And in all honesty, that's probably the last thing we have to do. From Ofer. Uh, we have a lot, too. Just trying to cap it out here. Yep, we get enough. Oh, that was our last skill that we were looking for. Exploding Spike. Now that, stay sharp, spirit. That's going to be probably 100%. No. Maybe it's something at the end of the game? Question mark? At this point, it doesn't really make sense to me. Let's talk to talk real quick, see if he's got something. Probably doesn't. No, he's not even there, is he? Place does look nice, though. Give Grom that. Did a good job. Okay, got anything for us? Saw so a trick, did your friend? Yeah, I've heard this before. No, yeah, we'll come back. I think maybe, maybe we just when we finish the game. No, no. In time, we'll know. I think it's probably okay if we beat the boss and then come back to do stuff. You could probably do that in this game. They let you do that in most games. I gotta assume that Ori's no different than... At least in this regard, 99% of games, but you never know. I feel like I would've heard something about it, though. Just being... It wasn't allowing you to save your... Well, not save, but go back. Right? Somebody would have said something. Even though I'm not actually actively looking at any Ori stuff, I just want to save you. Uh, probably. I say that matter-of-factly, but... It's not necessarily true. Okay, I see how we missed it last time. Now we're probably going to miss it again here. Oh. Okay. One to go. For some reason, seeing that, uh, I have an itch to play The Witcher 3. Uh, there's a quest where you... You have to go inside a, to the bottom of a tree and... It's kind of early in the game. I No, I never did beat that game. And I would love to go back and beat it at some point. It's a fantastic game. Uh, I got a good ways into it. I can't remember why I stopped playing. I kind of got sidetracked. It was something else. Might have been Factorio. I wanted a real bad uh, Factorio bend. bend uh, one month or one one week. I don't remember how long I played that game, but I played it. I know there was uh, a couple days where I played it like 48 hours straight. Something like that. That's a fantastic game, too. The Witcher 3 and Factorio. Two very good games. I still haven't played um, Satisfactory, I think is what it's called. Satisfactory. In fact, I'm sure that's what it's called. It's like the 3D version of Factorio. Looks pretty interesting. I think it just came off of um, Epic Game Store exclusive, I think. Maybe. Well, it doesn't want us to go that way, apparently. Just time that. Just timed it again. How many times have we missed time? I think we got it this time. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Nope, not too bad. Uh, I don't know where we're going. Kind of lucked out there a little bit. I do want to get those spirit shards. The spirit uh, light containers. I keep wanting to call them spirit shards. Spirit shards are the abilities you pick up. These are light containers. Containing spirit light. Perfect. Oh! Uh, okay. <laughs> I see where we gotta go. Yep. Love to save it right now. And then we have to get in here somehow. Maybe. I mean, there is that up there. Maybe we have to go around and then go this way. And rather than take chances, I think. I think we're gonna go back down. Let's heal before we go in, in case it's like right into a boss fight. Oh, I figured out why those little those little green ones, they're like extra green on the end of the life cell chart. It's because we have the, um, we have this talent. This one. I bet if we took that off, those three dark green ones would go away. I think this is the boss of the game, guys. Well, I don't want to ruin it for anybody, but I guess I kind of already did. Um, so we can save the game here, at least. Um, which means we missed this, too. Uh, where are we at in time? I don't think we're going to struggle with the boss, even though I don't think it's an easy boss. I just feel like it's something that we can do. Maybe not one shot, but we got time to beat this episode, is what I'm trying to say. And maybe go over here and uh, get this uh, light that we missed. Yeah, it was actually wasn't too bad to get, was it? And, yeah, let's just teleport back. Oh, no, that's not a, uh, not a waypoint. Yeah, it was worth it, for sure. Uh, save and heal. Save and heal. So this means the only thing we're missing in the whole entire game at the moment just recap here is this spirit light container which we couldn't find we had to look up how to get into here sadly there was a lever up here we had to hit right there um so we had to look that up and then we have to get one percent here and then that's it So now the question is, you know, I, I think we trust that the game's going to let us go back and pick that up. If I'm wrong about it, I'm wrong about it. We 99% the game. We know where the last little bit was. I'm going to go up. After going down, I think we want to go up. The art is so beautiful in this game. Look at that background. Looks amazing. We made it, Ori. The spirit will. The light will be restored to the land. The damage will be undone.
Brave child, you had healed what you have broken. Seer is now reborn. See the memories gathered to my branches. How the spirits have longed for this day. If only I could carry this light once more, but it is no longer mine to hold. My time has come to an end. A new age must begin. My child, I give the light to you. I miss <laughs> One life you must now leave behind to save the lives of all. It is the will of the wisp. Join now with Seer. Embrace the light. Care for this land as I once did. I'm going to turn into a giant tree here. Giant willow. It's coming right for us. <laughs> no, Shriek, you nerd. Did she cross the wisp? Shriek is actually Biff. Can I? Oh, what if he had shot you in the face? Say it. I'm lo I've lost myself. It's weird if you swing up, which is good because you wanna you wanna hit them going up. That hurt a little bit. Not bad though. You don't get very many hits into that. Phase two. We heal. Let's heal before we have to go. Oh, still got it. Second jump really does help. This right here. <laughs> Uh, as if you didn't have that at this point in the game. Uh... Oh, stop it! Shriek? Okay. Round two. She has quite a bit more damage there. More. Usually in sets of three. Yep. Boss logic. Well, I didn't think I was going to hit us, but. Smack you in your stupid face, Shriek. You kind of feel bad for Shriek, but at the same time, he really is being a big jerk right now. I mean, we didn't do anything to Shriek. What are we doing, Shriek? I think that was a missed opportunity there. Mm. Maybe I can still get one off? Second land? Mm, I missed. Three, two, whoa, whoa! Okay. No, I didn't quite get it out of the way in time here, but we're there. <laughs> uh, 
let's hurry. Now we're gonna get one of these here. For sure. Can we get a bunch? It looks like we can. Might be enough. I don't, I'm not even sure if those were hitting them or if they were if they did. They actually did damage. I'm not sure. What are we doing, tree? One. Two. I got one hit there for that. I think. Whoa, I lost track of myself. Oh. I see we have to stay in the air with this, right? Yeah. Am I st yeah, I'm still on the screen, I guess. Where am I at? Oh, no, I'm in the... I'm having a real hard time keeping track of where I'm at on the screen. I think we're doing it though. We are taking damage, however. <gasps> oh. Whoa. Whoa. I'm going to be honest with you guys, it's taking all my concentration to stay in the air. Uh, <laughs> and she's almost dead, I can see it. Yeah. Is that it? I think we got her. Ladies and gentlemen, we got her. That was tough. The guy literally couldn't take my eyes off of worry uh, during that last part there. You shall always remember the night. Hey, we're one family again. When hope faltered. You can see her breathing. She's alive. She's alive, guys. Some choose to remain in darkness. Like Shriek. Poor Shriek. It's got to be said that music's really good in this game, too. Um, the scenery is so fantastic that the music, you feel like it takes a backseat, but it's right front and center, too. Shriek. No. I get it. I get it, game. And the wisp? Is alive, I think? Or he looks uh, a bit worse for wear there. But well, we know Ori's going to make it, right? But the Wisp comes along and picks him up. Is it waiting on me? Yeah, I think so. 
<laughs> we get up. It's like me when I get out of bed in the morning. I just resting your hand on that thorn, thorn uh, there, Lori. Those things killed you like 300 times this game. Missed, for, but not forgotten. Is that the single feather that started the whole thing? It is time, Ori. Am I going to become a tree? Kind of looks like it. So is it the same Ori from the first one, or is, do you become a tree in all of them? Uh, <laughs> it's a uh, poltergeist. Is it poltergeist? The exorcist. Yeah. Those two were not really much help this game, were they? <laughs> to be honest, they, they did not do much. Is that me? Yep, I think so. Pretty sure that's me. I am Groot. I embrace the light. My name is Ori. So that's me talking, I guess. Must be. Q's getting big. Is Q gonna be shriek size? I think I think he is. She is. Whatever Q is. Yeah, Q's getting big. So am I. Now, if I'm a tree, how do I go back and get those last uh, spirit light containers I need? I just need two of them. Or just one of them. Actually. 
You can see that it's cool. You can see the characters' faces in the tree. Let life begin. Let life begin anew. That's a new Ori? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That was really good. I enjoyed that a lot. Um, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I'm going to let the credits roll. Uh, the usual stuff that I always say at the end of the video. You guys know what it is. Let's enjoy the, the outro music and take a look at all the great people that contributed to making this game. And uh, when it's over, that'll just be the end of the episode. Oh, the level artist. It's less than I thought, but he's still quite a few. Is it 12 programmers? Uh, a lot of graphics for well, okay. More programmers. One rigger. It's because there wasn't a whole lot of character models in the game. But... I you did the voice of uh, Coop. That's probably digital, though, right? I'm not Coop of uh, Ori. This is the way Coop, uh, Ori says Coop. Got it to me. There's the bear and Maki. The Moki. Jeremy Gritton. Cassie Brooks, Brooksbank. Additional editing. Light map creation. Sheer. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name. Teeny Technology? Well, I did it. I tried. LLC. Additional level design. Jordan Lanso. More programmers. Localization team. I like the little pictures in here, too. What a fantastic game. I don't think I could have asked for more playing this. It's more than I thought I was going to get out of it. To be honest. Oh, there's the voice talent. Okay, so... Ori Andrew Lackey did worry. Gumo and Naru? Was Gumo the... I'm not sure who those the other two characters are. I know this kind of blows me away when you see how many people were involved in in making making games. Hundreds, if not thousands, usually. Production babies. I'm 
nine, nine production babies. Unity, of course. Principal Software Engineer, Russ Allman. Audio Support and Licensing, Boyd Post. Games Marketing, Global Communications. Global Channel and Regional Leads. Metaverse Mod Squad, Inc. Business management, business development, sell us students quality. I'm surprised nobody uh, nobody tested the audio on a hard disk. See the uh, hard disk test testers. Lion Bridge Gaming. External Technology and Supplies Team. Retail Operators. Special thanks to Phil Spencer. Well, Spencer, isn't he the, uh, the head of Microsoft? Sure. I think so. Or, uh, Xbox, rather. Not Microsoft. There's a lot of special thanks there. Heartfelt support. Well, thank you for making a nice game, Moon Studios. We won't we won't forget you soon. Alright, now the question is, are you gonna let me back in to get those spirit light containers? Maybe, maybe not. We'll see you next time, guys. Take care of yourselves. See ya. Hey everybody, real quick just to end uh add to the end of the episode. Uh, I did have to look this up again. So Spider, that's S P I D E R uh on YouTube. Showed us how to get this uh, down into here, and also how to get this one here. Uh, you have to speed into that button there. That opens that. It seems obvious now, but... Uh, yeah, that's that, and I believe that should give us 100%. 100% there. Uh, we're still missing... actually missing something here. Uh, I'll cut here, and we'll cut back in as soon as I find out what's what we're missing there. So, uh, alright, we'll see you then. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, real quick, we're back with uh, what I think is going to be the last percentage in the game that we need. Uh, I didn't solve this on my own. I went to Motan and realized we needed uh, one more shard because we were at 30 out of 31. And uh, the last shard that we need, I went to Game, game Guide's channel. And uh, I had forgotten about this uh, shovel quest over here. And I think since that's related to talk, that's probably the last percentage we need for Wellsprings. That's the hope, anyway. Uh, but I watched where that spirit shard location was at. And I'm not sure how we would have ever found this without looking at this. Maybe we would have eventually if we combed through here enough. We didn't really give it a good effort. If I'm being honest. Ah, volume's a bit low. Let's turn it down just a, just a hair. Um, the shovel's right here. So, you just kind of dig around and... There's the gem. 
Found a new question, but pulsates with an ominous glow. Take the eerie gem to the special. So that's gonna be right back there, and we can just actually just teleport there. Or warp. Now I'm betting on this is gonna do it for us here. It should. Get the last percentage we need. Unfortunately, we had to we had to look it up. I mean, had to is kind of a strong word. So to, maybe we have to go back to talk. Talk is back in uh, the Haven. Right, because talk assigned us this quest. And he's no longer out here. We spent probably about 15 minutes combing this area. Trying to find something missing. Uh, talk is back the other way. Maybe. Well, now I'm not sure. Um, talk is usually right there. It's going to be one of those things where... Uh, yeah, talk is supposed to be right there. Well... The question is, is it too late to do this? Let's go back here one more time, and then uh, if it's not here, I'll, I'll stop this edit. This is going to wind up being a lot, of, a lot of edits for this video, the final episode, to get uh, be a long episode, too, to be honest with you. It may wind up being its own episode, just getting these last two, uh, these last two points here. Yeah, in fact, I'm probably going to stop recording here, so probably, you probably have to look this up, too, to be honest with you guys. All right, uh, we'll be back here in a second. All right. All right, guys, immediately back. Um, so I did look it up. It's uh, it wasn't talk. It was uh, Skiller X over here. Or Trillix in the Haven. And this should do it. And this should also give us our last spirit shard. Uh, consequently, I did notice Mote showed that we were missing upgrades, which I tried to do some of that for our skills. I'd kind of forgotten that you could even upgrade it through him. Uh, we've just been getting skills. Oh my my my, a rare, a raw shard, and in pristine condition, a rare find, oh yes, most spirit shards that discover are already refined, dazzling, and beautiful. The artisans of old understood the craft better, you see. Still, I polish this as best I can. He should give us a, a new uh, new ability here. Take the eerie gem to the specialist, or yeah, sense nearby secrets. Well, that would have been useful, uh, to be honest with you guys. That's this guy here, and that should let's check. Uh, Ninety-nine percent still, huh? <laughs> You're gonna do it like that, huh, game? Well. The only other thing I can think of is we don't have all these upgraded. I don't know if that counts. It may, but that's going to be a lot of farming to get that done. Um, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to end the episode. And I will come back. I'll get the rest of it, the, the last uh, percent that I need, and just show you guys the start screen that we did get to 100%. Uh, just to prove that we did it. But we're not going to make any more edits. Uh, this could this could take a while, and this video is getting kind of out of hand at this point. So I uh, appreciate you sticking around and watching the little thing if you did. Uh, I've already said all I needed to say before all this, so yeah. Thanks, guys. Hey, everybody, back one last time. This is the last time, just like the last time. Uh, the game took us 20 hours. Uh, we did get everything in the game. We got 100%. Uh, that was the last thing where we turned in the shard to uh, Trillix. That was the last thing we needed for 100%. It just we had to actually exit the game uh, before it was updated. So I'll just jump in here real quick and show you guys that the wellspring's done. And you can see it also proves that this is my save file. 100%. We did it, guys. Uh, great game, great series. Love y'all. See you next time.